I'm Malcolm Crossland. I recently did a painting of the Goldsboro DDG-20, which you can see in the inset. I'm a former crew member of the Goldsboro. I was assigned a weapons division, and I served as a fire control technician, but that was one or two years ago. The reason that I did the painting was to benefit the Goldsboro Association Scholarship Fund. Uh, each year at the ship's reunion, we have an auction, and the proceeds of that auction goes to benefit our scholarship fund. Uh, students, uh, college students uh, that are family members of the association can apply for the scholarship benefits, and uh, of course that's a very worthwhile cause. At our last reunion in Oklahoma City, we auctioned off an enhanced print of the painting. And in fact, uh, it was the high bid item of the night. So I was very pleased with the amount of money that was raised and auctioning off a print of the painting for our scholarship fund. I've been asked if prints of the painting are available for anyone who wishes to order them. And I'm pleased to let you know that we have made them available. I'll uh, provide ordering information at the end of the video. And also, I uh, want to let you know that for each print ordered, uh, we are going to continue to uh, donate a portion of the sales price of the print to the Goldsboro Association Scholarship Fund. So it's really a win-win situation. Um, when you order a print, you get a, uh, a beautiful painting of the ship, and the Association Scholarship Fund receives a, a donation. A little bit about how I composed the painting. Being home ported in Pearl Harbor, I wanted the Arizona Memorial to be included in the background of the painting. So you can see the ship sailing past the memorial uh, as she returns from Westpac deployment. Uh, you also uh, note that the uh, ship is adorned with uh, red, white, and blue lays uh, over the bow which, of course, is the tradition, uh, traditional Hawaiian greeting. The viewing angle of the ship uh, in the painting is off of the port quarter uh, from the bow. Uh, and I love this pose because it shows what I call uh, a tall ship pose. Uh, others have asked me about the equipment that uh, I chose to include uh, in the painting. Uh, Goldsboro is shown uh, after her final overhaul. Uh, prior to being decommissioned. Uh, I felt like that she deserved to be seen in all of her final glory. Doing the painting was definitely a labor of love and, uh, and an emotional one, uh, I might add. Um, I served aboard uh, the Goldsboro uh, for four years from 1964 through 1968. Uh, that, of course, included uh, three combat tours in uh, Vietnam. Uh, during which time uh, we took a lot of shelling from the enemy, but uh, with never a single uh, direct hit. Uh, of course, we also inflicted uh, a lot of damage uh, upon the enemy with our uh, twin five-inch guns. Uh, as we uh, uh, did close fire support uh, for the troops ashore, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, that served in the Army Infantry said, you know, one of the things I was never able to get used to the whole time in Vietnam was the sound of shells going over our heads from Navy ships. And I said, well, if you think that's hard to get used to, you should have heard it on our end when we were firing those things. Thank you for allowing me to share the Goldsboro painting. Uh, here's the ordering information uh, where you can order a uh, print copy. And uh, don't forget, uh, for every copy ordered, uh, we will donate a portion of the sales price to the Goldsboro uh, Ships uh, Association Scholarship Fund. Go Navy!